Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about product sorting and view products per page on shop page. So let's see how can we make uh, working this uh, product sorting and uh, this product per page option. Okay. So first of all, let's display here the number of products here. Okay. So for that, switch to the project and uh, let's open the shop component view file so just go inside the resources directory views live wire and let's open this one shop component view file okay and inside this file uh, let's display here the number of products okay so just select this and add here double curly packet then product dollar products arrow total okay now save and uh, uh, refresh the page and you can see here the number of products 16 all right okay now let's make working this uh, uh, number of products per page option okay so for that uh, switch to the project and uh, uh, first of all inside this uh, inside this uh, product size option page size option let's add here uh, change here the size uh, minimum size 12 and then 15 25 and uh, maximum size 32 products okay and just remove this All right. Now go to the shop component class file. So tab directory, HTTP LiveWire, and let's open this one shop component .php file. And here let's create one property. So right here public dollar property name. Uh, let's say property name is page size. Okay, and set here the default value twelve. All right, and uh, inside this gender method just pass here dollar this arrow page size okay and also create here a function for uh, changing the page size so write here public function and function name change page size okay and pass one parameter here dollar size and inside this function just write here dollar this arrow page size page size okay this one is equal to dollar size all right now save this file uh, now let's copy this function name and go to the view file and here uh, let's call this function so right here wire colon click event dot prevent is equal to just call here the other function change uh, change page size and pass here the value 12 okay now let's copy and uh, paste inside this Pass the value 15 and here also page size 25 and here 32. Alright, and here just display here the page size value. So write a double curly bracket dollar page size. Alright and uh, for this active class let's add here ternary operator okay so double curly bracket then dollar page size is equal to 12 then add here the class active otherwise keep it blank okay now let's copy this class and uh, paste here okay change here the value 
15 and here 25 and 32 okay now save this file let's check this so let's restore the browser and refresh the page uh, you can see here the number of products 12 which is the default size okay now let's change here the uh, number of products uh, let's click on this uh, this value 15 and you can see here 15 products okay 1 to 15 and if I increase the size uh, let's say 32 you can see here the all product okay all right now let's uh, make this sort by working okay so for that go to the sub component view file and here uh, first of all let's change here the option so just add here the default default sorting okay and uh, here just remove this featured price low to high price high to low and uh, sort by newness okay and uh, one more for the default sorting so let's copy and paste here and just add here default sorting all right now go to the class file subcomponent class file and here let's create another property public dollar sort by uh, order by okay order by is equal to add here the default value in this one let's copy and uh, paste here okay now let's create a function for change the order so right here public function change order by okay and pass here the one parameter order and inside this function simply write here uh, this arrow order by is equal to dollar order okay and uh, inside this render method let's add here if dollar this arrow order by is equal to uh, price low to high so let's copy this and paste here okay then so let's copy this line and paste here and add here order by order by and column name regular price regular underscore price so low to high so just add here the ascending asc okay else if if dollar this arrow order by is equal to uh, this value high to low okay inside this uh, let's copy this line and paste here and just change here the order this endings write a DESC okay and uh, 
one more time else if dollar this arrow order by is equal to this one uh, sort by newness okay then uh, let's copy this line and paste here and change here the column name created at okay descending order otherwise inside the else just cut this line and paste here okay now save this file now let's copy this function name change order by and inside this view file let's call here wire colon click dot prevent is equal to change order by and pass here the value this one default sorting okay now let's copy this and paste here okay now change the value so let's copy this and paste here okay price high to low and sort by newness all right now one more thing uh, let's copy this class and uh, inside this anchor tag just paste here and change here the property name which is um, this one order by okay and value should be this one default value okay and now let's copy and paste inside this anchor tag here also okay and uh, change the value so price low to high order by is equal to um, price low to high and this one and last one sort by newness okay now it's done so save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and uh, refresh the page okay you can see here this is the default sorting if I click on this one low to high price you can see here the lowest price and it's increasing the price okay and this is the maximum price okay now now let's change here the order high to low and this is the maximum and last one is the lower price okay and if I click on this one sort by newness you can see here the latest one product okay and this is the uh, older older product so in this way you can make product sorting and uh, products per page working on soft page so that's all about product sorting and products per page so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching